All right, hello everyone. Um, sorry that I have been missing the last couple weeks for our cooking class. Um, it's a tough time for everybody, I think, right now. And um, so things are just kind of crazy, and I know that they're kind of crazy for you. And we all have big feelings sometimes, and it's okay to have big feelings about things. And it's okay for stuff to be tough right now, and it's okay for stuff to be really easy right now. And it's okay to feel both ways in the same day or the same week. And so I'm here today and everything's great and I hope you're doing great and we're going to be making another recipe uh, but first things first we are in the kitchen so what do we need to do girls you need to put your hair back and everybody needs to wash their hands so I've done that I've put my hair back I've washed my hands um, I do not have my apron on today but that is okay um, we are going to do a recipe that my daughter has requested actually so props to Victoria she's my camera gal today um, also, we're using a different camera today, so I'm not able to pause it if I mess up and slice things together like I've been able to before. So, we're just going to see how this works. It's one continuous thing, and if we have some bloopers, that's what we do in class, right? If I mess up, you guys correct me, and I'm okay with that. And if I have to correct you, that's okay too. We all just kind of laugh at our mistakes and move on, and that's what we're going to do today if we need to. Okay, so. My daughter has asked for us to do a smoothie, and I think that's a great idea because it's a healthy snack for you. It's something easy that you can do at home. And you can use up stuff that you have there already. So if you have some fruits that your parents have gone to the store and bought or ordered in for you guys to have, um, you can use those up. Um, if you guys haven't been able to, you know, you're, they're getting towards their end of use time and you're like, oh, what do I make with this? Make a smoothie. So today we're gonna make a strawberry smoothie so, and you can use this with any fruit. Let me know what you experiment with. Let me know that. Um, and so today we're going to do strawberries. So we're going to have strawberries, skim milk, yogurt, sugar, and vanilla extract. Now, depending on how your lifestyle at home, your choices on food and things like that, maybe you don't wanna put the sugar in. That's okay, let me know how it turns out. Maybe you don't wanna put the vanilla in. Hey, you can experiment with this recipe however you wanna do. Um, so we're going to do strawberries. Now, if you use fresh strawberries, I do have some fresh strawberries, but I just got them, so we're actually not using them for this recipe. But if you have fresh strawberries, um, you need, it says it takes eight of them, so I've eight, you know, use eight good size. If you have small ones, you might need to use a little more. And it says eight hulled. Now, that's a term that we used, ooh, a while ago when we, when we talked about strawberries, but I think the last time we made a strawberry recipe, I'm not sure if I actually used that term with you again, so let me remind you. When we hull a strawberry, H-U-L-L, -L, hull, hull a strawberry, that's when you're taking off the greens and this white part there at the top, you know, that's, that's gonna make have a bitter taste. It's not gonna be a sweet part. So that's when you kind of scoop that out. Remember, we learned how to use a spoon to do that, and you've learned how to use a knife to do that. And if you have um, a melon baller at home, your parents can show you how to use that if you want, but we've just really used spoons in class. So that's hulling a strawberry. That's what you would do if you use fresh, fresh strawberries. And if you use fresh strawberries, you'll also need to add some ice because it's a smoothie and so it's cold and part way frozen. So add some ice if you use fresh fruit. If you're using frozen fruit, which is what I'm gonna use, we have some left in the freezer. I hadn't even opened yet. I'm like, oh, we need to use this. So we're going to use, ah, Open it. Frozen strawberries, and they're whole, but they're whole, but they've been whole. <laughs> whole, but they've been whole. So we're gonna use frozen strawberries. Um, maybe. Hmm, they might have been in the freezer a little too long. We might just use our fresh ones instead, actually. Um. So Victoria's gonna hold the camera because, like I said, we can't pause right now with this camera. Um. So I'm gonna grab a spoon to hold these with. Hold on. Oh, trying to hurry, trying to hurry. I can find my melon baller actually, but I don't see it. That would be fastest. Boom it is. Okay. <laughs> Still one for the strawberries, so we're gonna hold them real quick. You're gonna use a blender this time. Remember how we used a blender last time? And sometimes it can be kind of tricky to use. 
Remember how sometimes it gets kind of frozen and stuck up in there and you need to have a big spoon to mix it up with? You always turn it off before you mix it. But anyways, we are going to quickly, you can take your time at home if you need to, but I'm going to do this quickly because I didn't prepare them ahead of time. I thought I was gonna use my fr frozen strawberries, but like I said, bloopers, I didn't open it beforehand, see? I knew that they were getting close, but I think they're past their use date, so some frostbite on them and they hadn't even been opened yet, so that was a bummer. All right, what do I have in there? One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, you know what? We could even add some bananas if we wanted to. I'll make it a banana strawberry. Victoria, can yes. you, do you want to add bananas to it too? Definitely. So I need eight strawberries then if I'm going to add a banana. I would do like five or six and then add one banana. I think I have six in there. One, two, three, four. I do. I have six in there. Okay, so then we'll add a banana instead. Do you see, guys, what I mean by experimenting? You see, by, we have lots of fruit on the table. But I, we have bananas that need to get used up also. And I was going to make some banana bread or something, but I also just need some milk did no we had different kind of bread i made something else okay anyway these need to get used up so we will use this for smoothies so i'm gonna peel my banana Woo! that is flying right in there that is gonna be sweet probably don't even need i probably just do that if i don't need to make them in small pieces the blender's gonna do that job for me done strawberries and banana perfect okay then it says we need a half cup of skim milk okay we're gonna use our liquid measuring cup because we're using milk now this is not the kind we uh, usually use in class where we have to get down and one of the friends, one of our, one of our students in class has this kind though. Who was it? I think it was Maddox who has this kind. I don't remember. Anyways, it's, it's tilted and the measurements are actually on the inside. They're backwards on the outside because it's, it's not like most of our measuring cups where I have to get down here and look like we've had to before. Ooh, Ooh this is Owen's getting old. It has some old news today. Um, so I have to look down on it because of the way it's tilted. Um, so half cup, pour it in till I get to, the, this is like actually really handy because you don't have to bend down to look at it. But, um, okay. And you just pour all, you just put it all in the blender. So half cup skim milk, done. Half cup yogurt, three teaspoons of sugar and one teaspoon of vanilla. So yogurt. I have vanilla yogurt, and if you have plain yogurt and doesn't have vanilla in it, you could put another teaspoon of vanilla in here if you want that flavor. That works. Um, or if you think, oh, that's plenty of vanilla, just having vanilla yogurt, you don't have to add extra vanilla. This is one of those recipes you can change all kinds of weights. It's so neat. So it's a great thing to have to do while you're stuck at home because you can experiment and make your family some healthy delicious snacks you can all enjoy together. Just whatever you have on hand, whatever's left over you need to get rid of. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of give that out at top, on the top, it's a half cup, right? Yeah, half cup. Okay, remember half cup? Oh, I forgot to show you my cup before I started. Half cup is the one slash two, half. Remember that? So my young class, remember half is one slash two. The older ones know that. They know their fractions, I know that. But the little ones, one slash two is a half a cup. So fractions can get tricky though sometimes. I don't know about you, but they can get tricky. That's the great thing about cooking and baking too, because then you get lots of practice with fractions. And so then as you practice it more and you learn more about them and you use them a lot, use them a lot in cooking and baking, they get less tricky. And when you're using it and not just seeing it on paper, it's less tricky. So cooking is great that way. Okay, so we've got our strawberries and bananas. We have our milk, we have our yogurt. We need three teaspoons of sugar. Teaspoon, teaspoon is the T-S-P. Remember tablespoon is T-B-L and that's the big one, but we don't want that. We want the teaspoon, one T-S-P, teaspoon. So we're gonna do three of those. Those kind of level. Remember sugar's a great one because it kind of like level, you can use it to level itself. You don't usually have to have a knife unless you, you know, you have like the cup with the half cups. It's kind of easy that way. But spoons, you can just, mm, I lost track. Was that two, Victoria? Do one more. Why not? Three. You can't really go wrong with sugar when you have a smoothie. <laughs> Sometimes it can be a little too sweet, but I was talking. I'm pretty sure it's three. Okay. 
and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So we're gonna, that's why we did the sugar first also, that we don't have to dirty two teaspoons. Um, and you don't wanna put it in there after you put the vanilla in it because that's wet and liquid. You don't want that getting into your sugar. So do the dry ingredient first, the sugar, then do the wet ingredient, the vanilla. So, oh my, I'm, I'm measuring it over there. Ooh, something I always tell you, do not do that. So we're gonna measure it over these dirty measure cups because it doesn't matter if it gets in there. We have extra. Vanillas. Oh, I was like, I don't want to pour. Okay. Then, oh, and I did go over. I'm glad I had that over that. Whew. That vanilla. Vanilla. -y. The 30 vanilla. Flavored. Okay. Now you're going to put it in the blender. Oh, I used fresh instead of frozen, so I'm going to have to add a little bit of ice to that. If you have the frozen fruit, you don't have to add the ice because it is like it's my own ice. But since we used fresh, I'm going to have to put some ice in it so it doesn't come out as strawberry banana milk. <laughs> it's actually a smoothie, so hang on one more second. <laughs> and I should have put the ice in first so it could have been crushed. Right? Yeah. See what I talked about, guys? Bloopers, but it's just like one of our class, isn't it? And we're all talking, and I get distracted because you guys love to distract me, and that's okay. I'm okay with that because you're fun. And you can use the spoon to get the ice down to the bottom. Looky there. She's such a great assistant, isn't she? I'm gonna do that. Good idea, Victoria. Yeah, let's push that ice down so it can get really... Because the blades are at the bottom, so yeah. you wanna make sure the ice is there so it can get chopped up first. Go to the bottom ice. I have my strawberries in the way. They don't wanna listen. Okay, half of them up on top. Okay, well, that might just have to work. <laughs> okay, we're gonna blend it up. This is gonna get loud, so you might wanna turn your volume down for a second, okay? But remember how we have to turn on our blender. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna pulse it for a second to try to get the ice down to the bottom. Now I'm gonna set it to go, um, it's gonna go on medium. It's gonna go through the different, uh, my blender has settings for different types of drinks. So it goes through a, like a, Program settings, different ones. Okay, I'm gonna turn that off because that sounds very liquidy. I might have to more ice in. I'm not really sure. Ah, oh, this is only didn't think this one through very well today. Oh wow, that already blended up the ice there and everything. Okay, we're done. Well, that was easy. I probably made. I don't know. Do you want more ice in than that, Victoria? It's cold. If it's cold, because if you put too much ice, then it'll get all watered down. That's true. Okay, I think I'm just used to having frozen strawberries when we make these, and it takes a little longer. Ooh, do you guys remember when we made our strawberry Dole Whip? And it took us a little while to mix up those strawberries, because we used the frozen strawberries for the strawberry Dole Whip. Yeah, frozen strawberries seem to want to take a little longer to mix up than just ice, apparently. Um, so that was really super fast. Um, okay, and then if you want to just when you're doing it at home, you can just use the pulsing, which is just pushing this button, just the pulse button. And it just does it a little bit at a time. Or you can use your different settings, so let it go for a little bit, and then turn it off when you need to stop. Things like that. Okay, and then you're just gonna pour it into a glass and enjoy it with your family. Um, another thing I forgot to do. Okay, I'm gonna say the shout outs. I will show the pictures on our next video. But we had pictures sent in from Greta and Lydia and from um, Zasia Morella and um, Karina. Oh, I don't remember if Joanna was in it. Okay, we're gonna shout out Joanna too, just in case. And from Lily. Oh my, if I'm forgetting you, I apologize. Those are the ones I can think of off the top of my head that I received. Okay, so I forgot to print them off to show right now. Oh my, this is really a lot of bloopers. <laughs> Sorry guys, but I promise I will have them in our next video and I'm going to be recording that this weekend with Victoria so it will go out at the beginning of next week. Um, and I will show those pictures on there. But because you did send them in, I really wanna give you out your shout outs. So good job class on getting those things made. Let me see what kind of smoothie creations you can come up with what, what you with what you have on hand at home and tell me how they turned out. And if you changed anything up, other than that, have a great weekend, and I miss all your faces so much and all your funny jokes, and I can't wait to see you again. Bye!